Yo, 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 what up, y'all? It's your boy, OCZ Savage. Today, we jumping into another deck build. In this one, we have a super strong shotgun build that I want you guys to go out and try. Make sure you guys smack the like button on the video so that way this can reach all the back for blooders. Also, hit that sub button. We got more daily tips, tricks, deck videos, everything that you can think of back for blood coming out. So, definitely don't want you guys to miss it. So with this shotgun build, this one is going to be super duper dope. Uh, you could probably use this one on either Walker. You could use it on Jim. And then, uh, of course, you could use it on Mom because she comes with that Belgian. So it makes it real fun. Now what we're going to be doing, we're going to be using two for one. And then we're also going to be using Power Swap. Now, um, I don't know what it is about this Power Swap card. It is so good. So especially like if you're going damage for either no hope you can do this on nightmare i kind of believe that you always want to have like some variation of power swap only because that extra damage is just way too much you're literally going to be shredding everything uh destroying mutations down in the comments let me know what you guys think about power swap do you guys use this are you using it have you used it you know do you use these on your damage builds let me know down in the comments what you guys think so pretty much what we're going to be doing with this build now you can you can do it one of two ways. So if you want to go with a shotgun that has a lot of bullets and then a shotgun that has little bullets, you know, you could do it like that. Uh, or if you want to go with, you know, two extended mag shotties, you could do it like that. You just want to make sure that you're timing the power swap. Now, while one thing I might add, because I was using the tack there only because it was like a really strong tack. But uh, the tag, this isn't going to allow you to power swap because it's already low ammo. So, you know, if you're looking to do the power swap portion of it, just make sure you're using like, you know, the, the combat shotgun and then the super shotgun or, you know, the Belgian and the super shotgun. You just can't really mix in the tack whenever you're doing the power swap. So just keep that in mind. Now, uh, as far as the build, we're going to have all the damage cards. All the good ones for shoddy, you know, if you want to go extra ammo, I would definitely do that. Now, if you're going to be doing like solo, you know, whether it's Nightmare, No Hope, if you're playing with bots, you could probably just take off some of the ammo cards or all of them and then just go more damage, you know, because the bots are going to drop you ammo. All the ammo caches, you could just pick those up. So you could try it that way. It's definitely a super duper strong build. And really the only time if you're going to run out of ammo with the shoddy is if you're just abusing it like I am here. So jumping into the build, we got the run like hell, the mad dash. Then we're going into our damage, hyper focus, ridden slayer, killer instinct, rolling thunder, mag coupler, power swap. This is definitely my go-to, one of my go-to shotgun builds. Now uh, one thing about this, because we're using the two as one, so that way we can carry two shotguns. Uh, th so there's going to be a couple of variations that you can do to this. So like, let's say you're using mom. You don't even necessarily need two for one. You could just use the Belgian as your secondary. Or, you know, if you want to go more ammo, you can do that. Now, um, if you want to go more reload speed, you can go that route. You know, I found that the reload speed on the shoddy is really cool. Uh, you know, you can keep the admin reload on there and then you really don't need reload speed at all. You could take some of that off, go more accuracy. So there's so many different variations. I personally like to fill them up with lead with the quick kill. Then we're going to go with the weak spot, just the mag coupler, and then, you know, just the rest of our damage. Now, if you're going to do this on mom, you could do something like this. So we got the pumped up, we got the mag coupler, we got the fill them up with lead. Then we got the shell carrier, ammo stash, buckshot, and numb. And then even if you didn't want to go numb, you know, I like going numb just to be a little bit more tankier on Nightmare, you know, just to stay alive. But, you know, if you want to go more damage, you know, you're playing with a team, you guys are queued up together, you know, and you could take off some of the, um, you could take off some of the ammo, you could even take off Buckshot, take off Numb, you could just straight up go more damage, more bullet damage, it's totally up to you. I really like the uh, variation here, the fill them up with lead with the buckshot and the numb because you're just so tanky, especially on mom when you're using pumped up. <laughs> you literally just have like temporary health the whole time. You know, as you kill things, you'll get temporary health. 
And, uh, you know, also, too, if you want to even, like, add in your own variation, you know, maybe even throw in Pyro, you could even do something like that. So, definitely a super strong build. Down in the comments, let me know what you guys are doing for your shotties. You know, as far as damage, are you going Power Swap? Are you doing Admin Reload? Are you doing two shotties? Let me know down in the comments. I really, really like this shotgun build. It's super duper strong. Uh, the only thing it's really going to come down to is the ammo. And, of course, if you're playing with the bots, you'll get the free ammo. If you're playing with people, you know, just try to be the person using the shotgun and you are completely chilling. Or, you know, if you just play on mom, uh, you'll just have unlimited ammo in the Belgian if you do the ammo stash. So, I definitely like it on mom. So, again, make sure you guys uh, smack that like button so this video can hit the YouTube algorithm, reach more back for blooders. Also, too, make sure you guys hit that sub button. We got daily tips, tricks videos i got tier lists coming out uh we're gonna go over the best guns the best skins in the game the best team comps for you to use so we definitely got a whole bunch in store for you guys make sure you hit that sub button and uh, of course go out and try this go out and try this build let me know what you guys think about it if it worked for you let me know some things that you changed so i definitely want to hear you guys' opinions as always, I appreciate you stopping in on the vid, and I'll see you on that next one. Peace.